and welcome back to the chronic corner i'm lauren and this episode is all about compression garments now if you have paused or dysautonomia one of the first things you were probably told to get in addition to increasing salt and fluids was some kind of compression garment whether it be socks stockings um something for just your calves you know all different kinds and we wanted to make a quick video to kind of go over the, the basics of it in a little more detail to let you know what really is the best for your POTS and dysautonomia symptoms. So the first is the amount of compression. Now you've probably seen like a range between 10 and 20 MMHGs. Now that stands for millimeters of mercury, which is a number that measures compression. So the, tiny, the kind of three that we recommend is 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and 40 to 60, kind of in that range. Um, if you haven't tried compression garments before, we would recommend starting on the low end and seeing how that works for you. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want. You can go right to 40 to 60 and see how that works, but comfort-wise, I would start on the low end just to begin with. Um, you want it to be comfortable. If you're gonna be wearing this you know, every day, a couple times a week, whatever, you don't want it to be like this pain. You don't want to wear it. It's another thing that you have to deal with. You want it to be comfortable, um, breathable. If you're in the heat, try to find something that's more breathable or a thinner fabric. The other thing that was very interesting is we did a speaker series last October called Dinette Discussions. And one of our guest speakers was Dr. Satish Raj, um, who is a dysautonomia and POTS specialist. And he discussed the advantage of having compression tights that go all the way up to your abdomen, um, which I personally was not aware of. You know, when I was diagnosed 10, 12 years ago, they told me just to get compression socks that went up to your knee. And he was joking about, you know, if, if you like the way they look great, but they really won't do very much for you. And he had um, some studies that were done and he had results from them showing how much um, having your blood regulated from your waist down with a tights instead of socks, how much that helps the symptoms and your um, heart rate and blood pressure regulation. So it was really fascinating. If you haven't checked out that video, we put the link below with a timestamp to when he starts talking about that. Um, but that's something really important to consider, you know, to get the most benefit out of it. I, you know, we all highly recommend going waist high. Bicycle shorts were also a close second, not as beneficial as tights, but you know, if, if you do are in a hot environment and don't want to wear tights, then bicycle shorts are kind of the next best thing. Um, price range, they can kind of go from like 20 ish dollars to over a hundred just because it's more expensive. Doesn't mean it's that much more beneficial. Sometimes it's the type of fabric. Sometimes it's the quality. Um, it can be where it's made, you know, some are more breathable, some are meant more for exercise as opposed to just wearing all the time. The other thing you want to make sure it's breathable. Um, and then somebody, I had to bring this up, somebody commented on our forums asking how hard is it to take on and off compression tights. And I almost bust up laughing because I don't know about you guys, but when I put this on, it is ridiculous how hard it is to take them on and off. I mean, I usually have to sit on the ground, first of all. It is not a quick process. Um, I feel like a stuffed sausage every time. It's like putting on a pair of Spanx, you know? That is not easy. Um, some people said to have a person there to help you and to make sure that you didn't like just get out of the shower, put lotion on, that dry clean skin is like the best way to do it. Also make sure you aren't wearing them too long and you're washing them regularly because little tip, they can get nasty. Um, so make sure you are cleaning them regularly. And if there is kind of a brand or type of compression tight or stocking that you really, really like, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. And for more things dysautonomia, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching.